Bremer Bain, second, 27-76. Two Fords, a Chevy, and a Ford. Tomorrow, 500 miles of Sprint Cup Series action. You can see it all, hear it, feel it, and see it on Big Hoss, the world's largest big screen. Here's how to order tickets for tomorrow's race here at Texas Motor Speedway. Trevor Bain went ahead and ran a second lap, but slowed down about two tenths on that second lap that he ran. Those are some pretty sporty times. That 27.73 by Biffle on tires that have two runs on them, that's pretty sporty. And we still have eight drivers to go. It's almost like each round has lost a couple of tenths of a second. You're right, Larry. It's, it's two or three tenths. Uh, three tenths from round one to two looks like two tenths the fastest lap from round two to three. Is that about the fall off you'd expect? It, it would be. I, I would find it hard pressed to find someone that would run faster in a, in a later round than you did an early round just simply because you lose grip with the tires. Great Kizowski here, see what he's got. Quicker than Biffle right now. Miller Light Ford. Carrying some green, looks pretty good right here, guys. This is the turn, you know, coming off turn three and four, if your tires are going to give up, he's, he's picking up. But he's making, he's making some good time. He's got solid green here. He's looking pretty good. Great run off turn four. Top of yeah. the chart, 27.63 for Keselowski. Now here's Marcus Ambrose. And he'll be fifth of six at 27.82. Minute and a half him. to go to start your lap. There goes uh, the four car, Kevin Harvick, track record holder. And in the March of Dimes, FedEx Toyota, Denny Hamlin's on it. Still a lot of green here, are we? <laughs> no, it just, it just, losing time a little bit everywhere. Be close to the front row, third, 27.74, missed it by 100. It's Harvick, the Jimmy John Chevrolet, second, 27.65 for Harv. That's just two one hundredths off the pole. Four cars to go. Carl Edwards is on it. Here's Kurt Busch. Everybody out there. Tracking about two kids off of Brad Keselowski, headed off into turn three. May not be even a top 10 speed. Before Bush, it's not. He's ninth, 27.96. Here is Carl. Passing all four. Fourth, 27.74. For Edwards, two one thousands quicker than Hamlin. Well, we have 17 seconds and two drivers. Jeff Gordon in the 24 car being one of them, Tony Stewart in the 14 being the other. And Joey Logano back out for another run. Will he make it to the line in time? He yes. does by three seconds. So this lap will count for Logano. Nee, nee, nee. Jeff Gordon, the exalted Thorns, Texas A&M Engineering, number 24. Not a very good lap for Jeff. No. Seventh of the eleven drivers. See what Smoke's got here. He was pretty good. Hey, hey! Jeff Jeff Stewart, Stewart, top of the board, 27-62. That knocks Kozlowski off the pole. And Logano finishes the session slower than his first lap, and he stays 10th. Is it fair to say that the uh, Stewart Haas guys are on a pretty good roll right now? I think that's a very safe statement. I mean, did it there with, with no time on the clock. They put three of their four cars into the final round. Brad was on pole until Stewart completed his run. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Gee. Front row? He's hey, back Brad, to the front, front row, though. You're on the front row. <laughs> By five, one thousandths of a second, Tony Stewart wins the pole.